Wai ho mātou i uri nei ki a tangi atu ki ngā tangi mōri kare ki ngā mō te tera ki ngā tangi tangi apotura mō. A mō rākou ngā himene tapito tata whaina ki mungi āko i tēnei gā. Kia pai ai tō haere, kia ngā wani, kia ea ka whai i ngā ākua tango tēnei ao. Kia ugu atu ai rākua ki rotu i te tapu o ngā tapu. Kia rei rāna ko ki tō atu a. E whanana i ngā. Kia rei rā, e te kui. Haere, haere, haere atu rā. Haere atu rā ki te pō uri uri ki te pō tango tango. Ki te pō nui, ki te pō roa, ki te pō ti atu. E whakapono hi ae koe pāwana te kupo te atu e te timatanga ki a mārama nā tā mārama. E tia hotanu nei tau nei mārama tanga e a harā no hoki ngā kua tanga o te pō. O reina e moe, e moe. Uri noi te whara. E nā tātau, te whae e tītanga o te uti me te rahi. Kua tatu nei tō tātou marae. Kua tomo nei ki tō tātou whare. Ko whakatutu ki te kaupapa, e mui a tātou i tēnei wā. Kā rea no hoki, ki a pāpori noi ho, tā te ngaro tanga te tō tātou tāonga, e ngani rawa ki a hali ki a koa. Kua whiwhi aia, kua tūki nei te kaupapa e mui ai. Arā, kua urua tūrā ki te mara matanga mutu ngā kore. Ki te oro ngā mutu ngā kore, e te rātaha o te ārai. Ko roto nei ki ngā ringa ringa ato whai o o tāna matua nui te rangi Nā ngā toto, o tōna riki, o tōna kaipaka ora te tāki Ko rira, nga e ngā whanaunga, e ngā hoa Tātou katoa, e ngā koutou, e ngā koutou, e ngā tātou And to all of those, all of us who don't necessarily understand te reo I bid you and, and baby, we both bid you a warm welcome to celebrate the life of Ebony Hakaiho, affectionately known as Auntie Seth. To celebrate the life of a woman, like I said on the first night, or the second night, sorry. To celebrate the life of a woman who was truly touched by the hand of Jesus Christ. And who lived her life according to the words of the one and only book that she ever read in her entire life in her 92 years. And so we come to celebrate all of those things. We come to celebrate uh, the being together as a whānau, and we come to celebrate the coming together as an extended whānau, all of us who have been touched by how all of our hearts and all of our spirits have been touched by our So, Lord Eda, to you all, uh, no my, no my, I don't. And so we have come together to remember before God the life of Epineha Kaihot William, Auntie Sarah. To commend her to God's keeping, to commit her body to be buried, and to comfort those, her whanau and her friends, those and all of us who mourn, with our sympathy and with our love, and the hope we share through the death Resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so our opening hymn is one that I'm sure we're all familiar with. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures free, he leadeth me to quiet and And let's give it peace. <laughs>
had a difficult time. Auntie Sarah used to say, stand up and straight, breathe in, and then she says, are you all right? I said, yes, aunt. She said, come, the show must go on. And we continue with the love of God. Hear the words of Jesus Christ, our Savior. I am the resurrection and the life. Even in death, anyone who believes in me will live. And set your troubled hearts at rest. Thank you, God, always. Trust also in me. And come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Therefore, Although we have been parted from our Sarah, none of us need ever be separated from the love of God. God, our comforter, you are our refuge and strength for us, our help by close at hand in times of distress. Help us so to hear the words of our faith that our fear is dispelled. Our loneliness is ease and our hope reawakens. And may your Holy Spirit lift us above our natural sorrow. May the peace and light of your constant love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm just going to open it up this time and uh, call on, you'll see on your program, um, always going to share something with us this morning. I'm going to come close to get my good side. Ah, te uru nga tu, te uru nga kapi. Te mauri tu, te mauri kapi. Te mauri pitia, te mauri rawa. Te mauri no, te mauri no. Te mauri no runga, no rangi ni te tu. Te nei te mauri kapaka kapi. Te nei te mauri kapaka kake. Te mauri no nga atua. Mauri no ngā tūtua, te kūtua tūtua whaiao, nga o mārama, kōpō tīhe, Mauri ora. Tēnā koutou e hari mai nei. Hari mai ki te takiwa o tāku tūmu waka. Te mihi a koutou e te papatiku o kapu te tangata ka hune i. Te te āho tōre, te āhu o whakapunaki, o te mātau o Māui tiki-tiki a tāranga maunga e whaka atu mai i tōna mārmatanga e tohu i a tātou kupo. Ka noho mai tātou i te taha o tēnā awa tikona a te wairo o kupu o ningi-ninga mā tangiro i te taha o tangaro moana. I wrote a little speech the other night. To thank you all for making on here special. You know, she loves all the line height, loves all the compliments, all the admiration, all the attention, and all the praise. She loved being loved. And, and you people made her feel so special. And then in return, she was able to share this love with everyone. You know, she took of herself for the benefit of all around her. You know, she touched all of you in her own special way. Uh, each of you will have fond memories of how she achieved this. Like, you know she's um, very nice with the singing. Way back in the old days, we all thought she sang a bit loud and she was above everyone else. <laughs> in the home, it's like um, they. Um, Tuke Mate o Kahine, like a saying, where um, the manga of the woman surprised my dad because he stayed here and he got bogged down here and he stayed here. But it's also called the manga of Kahine woman. So friendship is a sweet responsibility. She found it easy to make friends and being part of a good friend was that one of her, her gifts she had is 
she would get me to unload her, the problems to her. And she was still doing it on, on like she was very sick in bed in her final days, she was still hearing that uh, people would have problems and she brings it out of them, she would draw it out of them. They only went in there to say, be happy for her, that they have got to know her, but then somehow she turned it around and she drew their problems out of them. And then um, we were going over the scriptures. Mum used to have these um, promises, a box of promises from the Friday normal place. And when you need encouragement or motivation, you bring out and you read the promise. And so uh, my niece, Nala, she drew out one, and it come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. So she was doing this while she was in her sick bed. You know, why change the winning formula? <laughs> <laughs> um, and change, I want to talk about change your thoughts and you change your world. For a while there, mum used to go on about, um, I never dreamed of going to Parliament. And we've got here, Pato Pato, very special. Very humbling, a lot of emotion, but when we got to carry our mana, um, I never dreamed I'll go to Australia. And she travelled alone, so it was very frightening. You know, you know, I she was travelling alone, we had a little note for her, so go this way. <laughs> 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 so we would bring up the family in Auckland, take her from one airport to put her on the other one. And then my relation, Rita, um, in Melbourne, can you get her put her on the next plane, please? My mum was travelling alone, but it's like we she had that gift to just go, should have one, mate. Can you help me? <laughs> yeah, um, it's like another one. She never dreamed she'd drive the longest straight in Aussie. It's like we made it like a fish story, 100 miles. It's actually just over 90 miles in a straight line. It took us a few hours to get across. And then when we were in a, in a pub, we were there for a lemonade. <laughs> and when we were in a pub, and um, she was boasting to these people in there about how she run, how she drove the 100 miles across the longest straight in Australia. And um, the other guys were saying to her, oh, I drive at 100 miles to get across there. <laughs> and, uh, 100 miles an hour to get across there, where she was quite proud she drove 100 miles. <laughs> That's the right time when a car comes to you, it's over. <laughs> and, and also, she had to learn to drive another car. Because we, had, we didn't take our car from here over there, so she had to learn <coughs> Out, you know, all the things in a new car are different. So she faced up to the challenge and then slowly she learned. And then prior to going to Aussie, like AFCO was a big part of our lives. That's a lot for me. And then, yeah, I never dreamed I'll go to the AFCO boardroom. So there's mum, me, Sam Lewis, the chairman of AFCO private meeting for my research. And then on that occasion, um, because it was mum's birthday too, so they gave her some um, bouquets. And so, with me having carried bouquets, who's a pretty boy? <laughs> so, that's what I want to encourage if you want to Change your thoughts and you change your world. Dream the big dreams. Go for it. Um, everyone was special to mum. Also special was her lord. And besides her lord was her pipe getter tuppy. Well, besides her pipe getter tuppy was a little box of promises I mentioned before. And then me and mum, we shared one promise, like Sally pulled out one, and then I pulled out one. And mine was, I have the strength to face all conditions by the power that Christ gives me. Philippians 4, 13. And she went forward 
on their final journey to believe in that. But we also have another challenge coming up, because our moko, when we were before Nanga we were discussing the funeral arrangement, and our moko wanted to carry his great man to the food cup. And then we laughed about it, and then we gave him this. Regardless of the weather, we know it took the potter, we've been looking at that, so maybe putting her on the car. But then we gave our words to our moko that we would carry this great man, and we must stand by our word. But for all of us, when we give our word to anyone, stand by your word. You know, we can also look at it this way. We're only asking, you know, because we all have to help and to carry, we're only asking everyone in five minutes of your time to take the load. And so we're, we're in no hurry, but we, we just, we just it's like our Mokohai, he's very young at college age, and we're trying to instill in him through me, through mum, is that we face up to our challenges. Because it's a bit warm outside, or we've got to put extra sunshine, do we give up? No. Or, or the weather's not to our liking? So we face up to our challenge. That's for all of us. And so they were asking me, my niece was asking me, my niece here, um, what's our wire cut? I said, I'll be all right, I'll do the wire cut. <laughs> I bought, I bought, I bought, he called me Mahara no Tuko Ike Kimikara Tua Uti Nga Mahia no Tau Iwi Tahu Nui Tena Maybe we were loud enough, 
So she sang, and she made us all fret. And Brother Way, he went, shut up, Auntie, shut up, Auntie, shut up, Auntie. And we all had the giggles, you know. So, you know, Auntie said to us, with a lot of memories, and one thing she said to me, Ali, no crying, sing for me. And I was very sad when we were at Auntie's, because there was only a few of us, and there was no singing. All the songbirds had left, and the ones left behind, we had no heart to sing for Auntie. It was very, very dry and very, very sad. So I'm hoping that when we're here today and we're up at the Uruka, that we sing our heart out for Auntie. And I had a poem, but I can't write it. If I had a night, I was going to pick up and talk a little bit. I made an effort to find it. But it was Cousin Ra. Tina, you guys had that for your dad. Alley boy. And it was about the, the door is never closed. She hasn't gone. She's just in the next room. And that was beautiful. I've always remembered that. So I always think about our auntie. She's in the next room waiting like her two corner her brothers and sisters were waiting for her. And we knew when she was slowly, slowly going that they were there with us. And um, my mother was sitting with her and she was going to fight with us. You want something, you want something. And someone said it's up to you. So I don't know, but anyway, I better not brave on because I love to talk about the whole time though, so I'm be inside. <laughs> And talking about no minute, he's got a lot to answer for that fellow. The woman of Matewai of Matitane and the men of Matewai. <laughs> and he's, like, he's left us with the other And Auntie Sarah, she was, uh, yeah, she was a, a, a bit of a Matitane. <laughs> and she used to propose to be. And one of them was my wife, who was the stand up possible preacher. <laughs> <laughs> they proposed him, and of course he turned it down. I'm not sure whether he had the guts to say no, but she was just laughing. And there's another fellow in this room, I won't name his name, but she proposed him, and he said, Yeah, you're an old fag. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they call it. Detail, you know, and she, when she was in Aussie, she used to write and put from the old bag, and um, and he knew it was him. So, Auntie Sarah, if you wanted to be with the Lord, you're there, enjoy, and one day we will be with you. Um, this is well, I'm not invited off because I could be sitting over there. Praise <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're only human, so maybe perhaps. We've got brother John, Tom here, uh, but he's, he's a bit like me. You know, we roam around searching, but we always come back. So, Fano, thank you for listening. Um, our auntie was a great person, because we're all great. You see, it's just natural. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. I've given up. Um, okay. Thank you, Arthur. Um, on behalf of all the Mukul and uh, Greg Mukul and everyone else, Nan, it's been a pleasure having you as our grandmother, great grandmother and so on. Uh, I hope you have a great time out there with the Lord and one day we will see you soon. Thank you, Nan. Love you.
did she say it to me? I don't know what I need to do. I'm tired. No, I said, Nan, God wants you to do one more mission. I don't know what that is, but God knows. It's dawned on me on the New Year's Day that God wanted to see, wanted her to see the old year out and the new year in. So I guess then there was your mission. Your last. And a time of, of silence. Let us make our personal thanksgiving to God. For oh, then then Sarah has been teaching one of us for her wonderful life and our memories, we give thanks. God, our Father, we thank you that you have made each and one of us in our own image and given us gifts and talents with which to serve you. We thank you for our men, auntie, and our mother, the years we shared with her, good we saw in him and the love we received from him. Now give us strength and courage to leave men in your care, confident in your promise of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Love you, man. that you 
will use us as bearers of your love. To support them in their grief, we also remember before you all who mourn and all who suffer this day. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Give us patience and faith in this time of our loss, so that we may come to understand the wonder of your mercy and the mystery of your love. Lord, oh, hear our prayer. Increase our faith as this old lady has done so with many of us, and our trust in your Son, Jesus Christ, that we may live victoriously. Oh, yeah. Give us such a vision of your purpose and such an assurance of your love and power <coughs> that we may ever hold fast the hope which is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, yeah. God of grace, we thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, who by his death has destroyed the power of death and by his glorious resurrection has opened the kingdom of heaven to our aunties, to our nanny, and to all believers. Grant us to know that because Christ lives, we shall live also, and that neither death nor life shall be able to separate us from your love. Amen. Amen. Amen.
when you come together and you sing praises to the Lord. And everybody raises their voices up so that the heavens may open and the glory of God may shine down upon us today. You know, that's what it's been like. That's what it was like to want the heavens opened up and the glory of God would shine down. So today, I haven't got a, I've got a Bible, but today I'm going to share you one of the latest letters that's got on here, November the 27th, 2018, was her time she started to write. And as Puri was saying, just about most people in this room would have received a letter from her. Some might have got seven pages of scripture. Some might have got something else. But she was a prolific writer. And she would sit down and her thoughts would fly and fly and fly. And she would fly them to everyone else. And I don't know about anyone else, but sometimes mine actually got posted in the mail. And it had a stamp on. Or sometimes an envelope would come and in the corner she would wriggle a little stamp God stamp. <laughs> so that's what she, she's done, and everybody shared. And those are something, those that received her letters and kept them, keep looking back at them. Have a look what she was thinking. So, this is our co host in our reading for today, and it's actually from Aunt, but um, I'll read it out. And it says here, Dearest girl, she always called me girl. Just enjoying my time in God. And Job keeps coming back to me. Job still gives me wonderful scriptures and I can enjoy them. To understand God's healing expertise, I keep looking at the life of Job. Possibly no one in history lost more than Job. If you want to know about Job, you have to get your Bible and read it. If there was ever a man that suffered, it was Job, and she was fully aware of it. We read, you will forget your misery. It would be like water flowing away your life. But your life will be brighter than the morning, noon, day. Every darkness will be as bright as God's beautiful light of hope. You will be protected, and you will rest in safety. You will be having hope and courage, and you will rest in peace, unafraid. And many will look at you for help. And we heard that coming up from Boy, about people flock to him just to hear and listen to him. Sometimes sadness comes, but do what Jesus did and take time to pray about it. As I look back for so many of my mistakes, I find decisions make in response to pressure instead of praying and getting on with the job. Jesus realised he only had enough time to do what his father, our father, wanted done. And he gave him the ability to say no. That's a good point, we should learn that now. Only two words. <laughs> to other things, God has called me to love people. And I am so thankful to him for the wonderful gift. And having confidence in God's help, one is to operate within his way to a couple. He departed to the Monga to pray in Mark 6. Verse 4 to 6. If we want to know about prayer, examine the life of Jesus. So she's got an enormous cohort here for all of us. Examine the life of Jesus. He prayed when pressure of life increased. And news about him spread so that the crowds of people come to hear him, came to hear him and be healed. And it's a wonderful prayer, something from us. Unto us today, let us go to the Mona Bana and pray and be healed. Because though we gather all the time, the communities are together, we do need healing. We need to return back to the Mona to God. We need to seek His presence. And I say to our family, you don't have to be holy and holy. 
You don't have to walk around with your big white robe up there. You've just got to believe and trust like this queer did. Go to the moment and start praying. See, he said, continues, he said, so the people came to hear him and be healed. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. It encourages me to pray more. I find spending quality time with God is very important. He gives me so, so many wonderful thoughts as I sit aside and spending secret times with God. And thank you, God, for the doctors, the nurses, the staff, they do a wonderful job. And from Luke, she jumps to Luke um, 2, she says, I'm trying the best that I can. When a loved one disappoints or wounds you, you lash out. Lift them up in prayer. Invite God into the situation that keeps on repenting. I'm still learning now Jesus, how Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place he withdrew and he knelt down and he prayed. Jesus had such an intimate father and you have too. If you're willing to take this cup from me, not my will, but yours be done. And an angel of heaven appeared and strengthened him. It was so good to see Tina. It was late. I was late on the van. So I went to the kitchen to have a cuppa. Lucky the trolley was in the dining room. So I had a nice cuppa. Tina sang to me because I was a bit sad. She chose, he chose me to follow him. We sang. I did mention to her and Colleen about the time at Glengarry. Girl, God has said to me, leave things as it is known. Be thankful for the times you have at Glengarry. Girl, remember too to thank Cheryl for making us sit in our chairs to do Kuritinani. She absolutely loved it. She said, those were the times I want to give thanks for. Keep happy, Bano. Keep looking up to me. I'm always by your side, says Jesus. Prayers has taken the situation out of my hands and I have put it back in God's hands. I stand back and allow God to work. Keep inviting him and keep the peace in my heart. Have a wonderful time at the weekend as we were going to Hicks Bay when Chansey got ordained. So she wrote this the time we were going ready to go up to Hicks Bay. And Chansey and I see Irene over there too, sitting there. Have a wonderful time at the weekend. Be thinking of you all and love you always. Um, you know, what a beautiful co-host for us today. There's, there's no way to have anything else but her letter on her. And before we have our commendation, I'd like us to be uh, teaching on the